द मोस्ट इंपारटेंट स्टे फर् युर ग्रोथ मे अभिवृद्धि की सोपाना वे यू आर् प्लांग फर् युर डेवलपमेंट वे यू आर् प्लांग फर् युवर अकाडमिक एक्सलैं इन के यू वाट युवर कैरियर डेवलपमेंट वाट आर् मोस्ट इंपारटेंट स्टे यू हेव टू टेक् वाट आर् प्रिंसपल यू हेव टू फालो बिकाज नाव इट इस एवरीथिंग इज सैंटिफि scientific means a systematic way if you follow a systematic way for your growth purpose for your career development wealth development and also for your name and fame what are the most important steps you have to take so let us try to analyze the things required generally we st- we tell that one mohammad ghazni tried to invade india and he did it for more than 17 times what they say so what they want to say is see he he has done for something else let us not go into merits or demerits for it what we want to say is repeated attempts are most important repeated attempts are most important you should not be tired of your attempts let it be one time twice thrice prior four times and as someone said failure is not something else failure is a part of success success depends upon your attempts of doing things because everyone will grow with their own experience others experience may help us to some extent but each individual is different from others we all we are all human beings there is no doubt in it but each one is one individual each one has their individual qualities likes and dislikes interests and disinterests and also the passions the moods the abilities and we have different goals we have different targets so in this way our tastes are different so in this way when lots of differences are there in our appearance in our doing things the way we walk the way we talk the level of our thinking so in the same way everyone is different from others so let us understand the individual differences we can co- we cannot copy somebody else because somebody is successful in something it may not be in our case too because our goals may be same but the approaches naturally differ from person to person because these are all individual traits and individual qualities so let us not try to copy somebody else the first and foremost is set your goal be clear about your goal already we discussed about this one in our previous videos goal setting is very very important let somebody not dictate what we should do because we cannot be like that one because somebody dictated if we want to do we can't if they want they can guide us they can counsel us but they can't dictate us because we are we are different a frog can do a frog's work a snake can do a snake's work 
A monkey can do, a monkey's work. Who can crawl, who can jump, it all differs from person to person. Some people are very fast in doing things, they take quick decisions and some people are not. So, in what category we are? So, think about all the possibilities from your point of view and then you should assess your strength and your, you should assess your weakness. You should know your weakness. And some people like to relax for some more time and relaxing to a reasonable time is appreciable and highly re required also because relaxing will help you to be re-energized, recouped, you will get back more strength and you will get back your more courage, but at the same time, resting for a long period of time, repeated restings for a long, long periods of time, it is nothing but a symbol of laziness. Lazy people, it is very difficult for them to go, it is very difficult for them to grow also, it is very difficult for them to accomplish things. Those who want to accomplish, they should not be lazy, they cannot be lazy, they can be, they should be energetic and focus always towards goals. So, in this way, the first and foremost required is set your goal, what you want to become. Then, when you decide your goal, you please see whether you fit for that or not, because it is a general proverb, first you deserve, then you desire. Without deserving, if you desire, then it is not possible. For example, the first and foremost is, you want to become a police officer, an army, a pilot or some excise department, whatever it is it requires your physical fitness, the required stamina, do you have that one, have you practiced for that one, do you go for regular exercises, can you withstand and at the same time some of the techniques, log jump, short jump, running, marathon and many more, pole jump, crawling. So, so many things are there. Are you practicing all that one? Your height, weight, your chest or all they fit for that one? If not, what to do, how to grow according to that one, is there any chance of growing as per the requirement, you find out that one. And also, what about your vision? So, when you want to go for a police officer's job, or army, or any defense, then your vision, your fitness are very, very important. In addition to that one, the other things like your abilities to solve the problems and general studies, your general awareness and your risk taking, your courage, 
your bravery, your withstanding capacity, your patience levels, your emotional balance. So, these are all the most important things what you have to count. If you do not have that one, if you feel that one, some of the things are missing. You are short tempered, getting irritated very easily, getting tired, then what are the remedies? Consult proper people, take their advice, just one centimeter shorter than the required height, just five centimeters shorter in your chest. So, what to do? What best measures can be taken? So, when you want to set your goal setting, it is for this kind of things and for other things and all that one, what are there we will discuss. So, if you feel that one, you are in short of any of the things, find out, check with your doctors, any chances for their improvement and what are the best things to do, so that you can meet the physical requirements as per that one. Physical requirements means as I said height, your chest, your stamina level and also the clarity of your vision that is sight. So, these things, these parameters you check, then what else required? You know that one, every competitive examination will have a preliminary test, a main test, essay test and for these like defense and police departments, your physical examination. So, so, mark these areas, then find out what is the syllabus, what is the syllabus. For example, here I would like to tell you 2023 February, your civil services is going to issue the notification for the civil service examination. So, this February, then the preliminary examination is due on 28th May 2023. Then comes October, November, December by the time they are going to complete your main examination. Then another one or two months of time your interview will be there. So, once the process of issuing of the applications, filing of the applications for your civil service examination starts from there. For, for example, February notification, so March, April in between two, two months, 60 days. So, May is your preliminary examination, then June, July by June they are going to declare your results, preliminary examination. You know that one, nearly 1 million people write this examination, apply for this examination. I do not say they write the examination, but as per the statistics we have gathered, since last 5 years of time, we have seen that out of this 1 million people who apply for the examination, preliminary examination, almost 70 percent of the applicants, 70, 75 percent of the applicants, they appear in the 
preliminary examination. You know that one. In the preliminary examination, you have paper 1, then there is paper 2. Paper 1 is in the morning section, paper 2 is in the afternoon section. And paper 1, it is completely general studies, completely general studies. So, what is the syllabus means, what not the syllabus? General awareness, general studies, general knowledge and everything, current affairs, whatever it is, everything comes under this one. It comes under, it covers every subject of study, but of course, to the plus 2 level, mostly to the plus 2 level. That means, in the main examination, whatever papers you have, all the papers combined together, filtered, you find in the preliminary examination in the paper 1, that is general studies. Of course, it is for 200 marks, 100 questions are given. 2 marks for each question. So, 100 into 2, 200. And you have minus marks. That means, every 3 questions, every 3 wrong answers, every 3 wrong answers, 1 question, 1 or 2 marks you will be losing. So, now, the second paper. The second paper, it will have for 200 marks only, but there will be only 80 questions. That is 2.34 marks almost like that only, approximately uh, two end of marks. Each question will have two end of marks. So, it is for 200, 80 questions will be there, general English, then mental ability, reasoning, your aptitude, integrity, ethics, these are the most important covered in the second paper. And for the paper 1, it is ranking paper. Paper 2, this is 80, mass, 80, 80 questions paper, it is just passing paper. That means, if you get 33 percent of it, that is enough. That means, out of 200, if you get 66, you, are, you pass in the second paper. Those students who pass in the second paper, then their first paper will be considered. And the first paper is the scoring paper, not only the scoring paper, it is ranking paper. That shows that one, those who get the required cutoff marks will get through generally what we advise the students, as I have been dealing with civil service at groups, coaching classes, my experience shows that one, students who are scoring out of 200 in the first paper, out of, out of 200 for the first paper, if you are able to score 110 to 120 out of 200, 110 to 120, there is every chance, 100 percent of chance of your standing in the scrutiny, in the preliminary examination. And for other reserved candidates and all that one, generally 70, 71, 72, 74, 75 but better you make it at least 90 for safe side. That means, not less than 90 and 
125 marks if you if you aim for that means 65 percent of the paper you are 65 percent of the paper you are 100 percent surely if you can answer you are going to pass in the preliminary examination for the paper 2 it is only passing so out of 33 percent that is 66 out of 66 you plan for 50 percent that means 100 marks you score that means here 20 questions there 20 questions out of 80 in the second paper 20 questions if you do not know also if you are not sure if you leave the 20, 20 questions also you are going to be qualified in the paper 2 and in paper 1 if you do not know 30 questions also there is no problem at all you are not going you are going to get through in the paper 1 also so I advise the students nobody will be perfect in every subject for everyone there will be some drawbacks so there is no need for you to concentrate on 100 percent of the syllabus what you feel you can do try to do the best what you feel you can't do don't try to do much and wherever you are 100 percent sure that only you answer for example, if somebody is very poor in some subject, it is okay, there is no problem, there are so many subjects are there. So that way your preparation should be, you can do wonders provided, provided you are very, very confident in whatever you are learning. So in the learning approach, the most important thing what you have to do is go for a comprehensive thorough preparation. Go for a thorough and comprehensive preparation. And almost 10 videos I spoke about the preparation methods. In this preparation methods, the first and foremost what you have to see is you should have minimum three years of continuous habit of newspaper reading. Newspaper reading, when you are reading the newspaper, read with passion. When you read with passion, you will love it. Do not be disgusted. The most and foremost is the editorial and also the editorial page, do not miss the headlines, what are there, do not miss letters to the editor, do not miss and make your simple notes, small notes on the daily current affairs. One is, so better to read two newspapers. I advise you to read the Hindu newspaper without fail. And when you come to the magazines, Competition Success Review is most important magazine. Yojana magazine is very, very important. Kurukshetra is another most important magazine. Kurukshetra, Yojana, Competition Success Review, Competitive Competition Success Review, and if possible, if time permits, competition. There is one book, Chronicle is there, Mantri. If, if possible, you do it. If not, there is no need. So, these are the most essential things you have to follow. And one national newspaper, Hindu, is advisable because of the, the language proficiency, number one. Number two, 
mostly they cover most of the subjects international regional sports or science and every week on some special topic it will be there sunday magazine and all that one so spend one hour on these magazines and newspapers every day and then in competition success review not less than 4 to 5 test papers will be there those test papers are very very important for you so generally what happens in the test paper he will be giving one question and four alternative answers what we call this one mcq multiple choice questions in these multiple choice questions what is the correct answer you see then the other three answers will be there so for these three answers what 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 will be the probable question you can form for those three if anything you feel meaningless it's okay if anything you feel meaningful but those answers are not to this particular question then try to find out what can be the probable questions for that that is the most important what you have to follow so i advise you page to page everything you have to read because they cover current affairs also so whatever you will be reading in the newspapers he will be giving the abridged edition in the competition success review and generally what we advise is three months of the competition success review three years of the competition success review three years of yojana three years of kurukshetra preceding to your examination for example 2023 examination you are going 2020 21 22 you complete that is the best way of preparation 2020 2021 2022 yojana kurukshetra competition success review the old issues are available in their respective websites also you can download them or else you can order in amazon in your online order you can place and they will send you within maximum two weeks of time to your address that's that will be very easy at the same time from today you are starting means from this month onwards the latest magazines of this three you buy in the market so that is a way, way of preparation then for your english preparation generally grammar what we say and i advise students paraphrasing precise writing essay writing these three are most important for developing your english please i am repeating precise writing you already held what is precise writing in your 10th standard also in your intermediate also so precise writing paraphrasing paraphrasing means they give you one proverb or one small sentence you have to expand it write in 20 sentences 30 sentences or 100 words or 200 words all glitters is not good the sun rises in the east the river ganges flows continuously so whatever it is you take that one you write 100 words whatever comes to your mind 
I am not born with a silver spoon. I am not born with a silver spoon. So try to understand what is the meaning of it and then expand it, write it. For example, attitude, aptitude, integrity. Already, please go through my previous videos. Attitude, aptitude, ethics, integrity. I have given, I, I, I made almost 4 to 5 videos because attitude, aptitude that shows your temperament the way you look into things, the way you react to a particular thing, attitude, aptitude. Aptitude means here your passion, your love, who die for it, we want to do it. It's my bread and butter, I love to do the work. So that is your aptitude. Attitude means, as I said, it is your temperament, your moods, how you look into things, your positive attitude, your negative attitude, how you take it as a problem or as a challenge. So, these are all attitude, aptitude. Ethics and integrity, it is about your character. What is the syllabus for the character? So, it should be imbibed. It should be at the core of your heart. Our wisdom always says, wisdom means, wisdom tells us what is right and what is wrong. What is right and what is wrong? So, here it is very, very important. So, our wisdom. So, we will look into our wisdom. So, your wisdom tells you always it is good and it is bad. So, the, your wisdom itself is your attitude, your integrity and ethics. We know what is good and what is bad. So, for that there is no syllabus at all. The syllabus is there are so many stories Chanakya In Telugu, we have Vaman Satkam, Sumati Satkam. So, these all teach us about the ethics, integrity, the art of living, the art of doing things. So, many things we get from this one. And then, English I told you already. And your test of reasoning and all that one, arithmetic, mensuration of grade 8, 9, 10 level of NCRT. For your general studies, paper 1, I told you, general studies, general awareness, general knowledge, 3 I said. Now, let us come to this one. Recently, I made one video, you can see that one, what are the similarities and differences between general studies, general awareness and also general knowledge. In this general studies, we find almost every subject. Almost every subject what you read in your secondary level. Here I can tell you mathematics also I am including even though mathematics is coming under your paper 2. In mathematics also it is only test of reasoning, simple mathematics. In your 10th class, 8th, 9th, 10th, you read English that comes un under your paper 2. Then 
you have the core subjects. In your core subjects, general science. General science, you know that one, physical sciences, biological sciences. In physical sciences, physics, chemistry and all biological sciences, you know that one, zoology, bi biology, took them, zoology, botany took them. Then you were social sciences, history, geography, economics, politics or political science. In geography, physical geography, economic geography, human geography, political geography. So, like that all you find in this geography, the atmosphere, various subjects you find in that. You have one subject called environmental sciences. Environmental sciences, grade 6 NCRT book will give you a vast knowledge. And also, there are some, some books in your grade 11, 12, 8th, 9th NCRT books. I am talking about only NCRT books. In that you find various other subjects also. For example, regarding physical education, you will have you will have health sciences, you will have and also life skills you have, disaster management you have. So these are very, very vital. And in political science, everything they are going to cover. And as far as social sciences is concerned, better you go through your <coughs> you go through the books in 11th and 12th class also and in that sociology then when you come to history indian history world history in geography also Indian geography, world geography. In Indian history, ancient, medieval and modern. Ancient, medieval and modern. Art and culture, you give a special stress. Art and culture. Art and culture of India. Then world geography, better you concentrate from the Europe since Napoleon is most important. That means we are talking about the beginning of the French Revolution, the causes for French Revolution till the world wars. There are books, the world between two world wars, the world between two world wars, it will give lots of insight and political science when we are talking grade 11 and grade 12 of NCRT covers everything each and everything it covers. This will make you ready for your main examination. As I have been telling you, once the notification is given, notification to your 
preliminary examination in between two months of time. After the preliminary result announcement to your main examination, there you will have another two months of time. Then after the main examination results declared for your interview, there will be one month or 40 days of time. So, we will not have much time for separate preparations and there is no, for, no need for separate preparation also because it is all your personality, it is all your personality as well as your subject knowledge, how you attempt. There are so many word papers of civil service examination available in their respective websites and also some of the most important uh, and toppers answer sheets available. So, you can go through that one that will help you much. Those students who want to prepare for this examination they should have legible handwriting. I do not say excellent handwriting, but your handwriting should be legible. Legible means easy to understand, write such a way that the people who correct your paper, they can understand and they can correct it. Then main examination, preliminary examination paper 1, paper 2 both are MCQ, multiple choice questions only. But when you come to the main examination, it is completely, all papers are completely essay type. Each paper carries 250 marks each paper. Now let us come to languages. One is English, the other one is your regional language. These two papers, they will have, each paper will have 300 marks. 300 marks each paper and of course language papers it is only qualifying that means out of 300 if you are getting 99 marks you get through you pass in the language papers so here you have the language papers they do not consider for your ranking but they consider for your qualifying. So, there is no other way, but you have to be qualified in this paper. In this paper of what we say that is your main examination. And paper this your regional language as well as English, it is of 10th class standard, simple English grammar, simple essay writing and paragraph writing. In a para, what they give? Understanding the right questions and answering. These are very, very, very important. So, as I told you before, Precise writing, essay writing, paraphrasing in this war very good. They can do very well. For them, there is no problem at all. And of course, your continuous reading habits will give you the best results for this one. For this, you should have a good vocabulary. And now, let us come to the rest of the papers. Rest of the papers means one is essay paper. Essay paper is for 250 marks. In the essay paper, he will give you part A, part B. In part A, they give you four questions. Out of four questions, you have to answer one. Out of part B, in part B, you will have four questions, 
they have to answer only one each question carries 125 marks each and here generally the pass is 10 percent of marks out of 250 if you get 25 marks you pass that means if you can answer one essay perfectly as per the world limit has given the world limit is 1000 words to 1200 words only they don't want you to beat round the bush they want you to completely to be specific it should be logical with the proper beginning middle and ending and also it is not beating around the bush you should be straight to the point no diplomacy good words good english good expression your grammatical skills your writing skills everything will be reflected in this one so it's very very important for you to be excellent what comes under this one means everything under the sun in the sun around the sun in the universe under the universe everything comes under this one science and technology all social problems any current topic any geographical, any historical, any general, any philosophical, anything, anything he may cover, anything he may ask you. So, I do not say there is a specific subject, there is a specific syllabus for this one. And whatever you have been preparing, whatever you prepared from your magazines, as I said, three years of CSR, three years of Yojana, three years of Kurukshetra, since three years of your general reading, your newspaper reading and also your preparation for your main examination, general studies and also your special subject, one group subject will be there, one optional subject will be there, that optional subject. So, everything comes under that one. So, there is no separate preparation for essay paper required. The only thing required is a practice of writing, writing with perfectness, writing with accuracy that is required. It depends upon, it depends upon our general awareness, our general knowledge and general studies, current topics and many, many more and whatever you have gone through your life experiences, whatever you have seen around yourself, that is enough for you to answer as a paper with all confidence. The only thing is you should have the practice. Practice makes perfect. Unless you write 40, 50 essays on your own, taking up any topic of your choice, go through the word papers and last five years papers you take and you start answering and then you get it corrected from experts that will help you take their advice so essay paper you can write there is no specific syllabus for that one the only syllabus is what you have been preparing for since your three years for your civil service examination that is 2020 21 22 preparations 23 preparation till your main examination then General Studies 1, General Studies 2, General Studies 3, General Studies 4. So, these are all cover Geography, Sociology, Political Science, Economics, Current Affairs, everything. Then paper 5. Each one is for 250 marks. Try to score as much as possible. For every question paper, for every 250 marks question paper, general studies 1, general studies paper 2, paper 3, paper 4, all these papers 
paper 5, all these papers. There will be 10 mass questions and 15 mass questions. Each 10 mass question should be answered 150 words, I think. And then for 15 marks question, you have to answer within 250 words, in 250 words. So, your practice should be 150 words to 250 words. 150 is the specification for your 10 marks question. 250 is the specification for your 15 marks question. Then comes ethics and integrity. Ethics in integrity in that your aptitude also will be tested. As I discussed, what is attitude, what is aptitude, what is integrity we discussed. So, the moral values, they will give you a number of case studies in that paper. In each case study, they will ask you how you will solve it. So, please go through the last 5 years of question papers for seeing that one and every case will be a novel one, every case study will be a new one, one case, every case study will be different from each other. Now, you know that one. The world is filled with crime rates, one side, thefts, crimes, and now the high tech crimes, cyber crimes. So, he will be dealing mostly with rapes, murders, and everything. So, he will be dealing about these cases. These cases will be given as a case study. And you know that one land, land grabbings, the, the governments are following different policies and all that one. They will try to understand how you are thinking about the government policies. So, this will help you to answer integrity and all this one. And to understand the policies and all that one, for that I advise you to read Yojana and Kurukshetra because these are government publications. They give you in depth the government policies, the statistics, what are published by the government. So, you have to follow. You have to analyze those statistics properly for answering your question papers. So, data analysis is very, very important. Then you comes your optional. There are many optionals. In that optional, whatever one subject optional you take, that optional subject will be divided into two papers. Optional paper 1, paper 2. 250 marks, 250 marks. Because a subject you are choosing as your optional, that shows that one, you are very thorough with that one. So, not less than 80, 85 percent if you score, minimum 70 percent if you score, to get through the examination. Overall, all the other subjects, essay, you aim for 60 percent of performance or minimum 50 percent of the perfect performance. Out of 250, 125 you score. The remaining all, paper 1, paper 2, paper 3, paper 4, that is general studies 1, general studies 2, general studies 3, general studies 4. If you can score there, out of 250, not less than 60 to 70 percent. So, 30 percent you take it for granted, then it is gone. The remaining, whatever you do, 70 percent you score perfectly. Then, integrity. 
and ethics this paper you score not less than 40% to 50% but when you come to your main examination in the main examination you score not less than 80% in case in the worst case also not less than 70% 75% between 75% to 80% must be your scoring so please go through five years of question papers you will understand the trend but don't try to predict that this type of questions will come it will not civil service question paper sector will never give you a chance to anticipate what type of question will come so by seeing the previous papers like your 10th class or intermediate or degree examination you can't expect you can't expect what is the future paper will be these are only very important it's not like that one so keep these things in your mind while you are preparing for your examination then let us come to the if you are scoring there so as we discussed language papers 300 marks 300 marks only qualifying and the remaining papers that is essay paper general studies paper total four papers and then ethics and integrity one paper then groups two papers total seven papers if you out of the seven papers that is for 1750 marks 1750 marks overall try to score not less than 60 65% if you are scoring 70% overall in this seven it will be a record in the civil service examination 60% you are scoring 100% you are getting getting to be selected so above 60% means outstanding 70% means unimaginable so the overall performance if you see as we discussed the best performance is never 61% or 62% so far so in the worst case also if you score more than 65% 100% you will be selected so out of the 1750 in the main examination for final selection what we will do is mains and interview interview he will conduct for 275 marks so far when we analyzed last 5 years of results or last 10 years of results the least performance is 65% the best performance is 80% so here in the interview there is no ambiguity there are no two ways the only way for success is scoring not less than 70% to 75% if you are getting 80% it is outstanding so what you will face in your interview when you go through your interview the most important things what they are going to check is they don't look into the slightest and smallest things what they see is they don't want to see your other performance and all that one they want to see your personality as i told you attitude attitude means your temperament emotional balance problem solving or techniques and also how composed you are 
how balanced you are and also they will see how honest you are how dedicated you are how passionate you are and they don't want to see you should then there is no need for you to be very very smart you should be smart you know our answers that's enough no need to be too smart they see simple smartness that's all not more than that one and in this one whatever you have mentioned in your profile the place where you are born your ancestral history your parental background the place where you are born your knowledge about that place your understanding about that place your comprehensive skills about your family your comprehension skills about your place of birth and also the places where you studied your passions your aspirations your hobbies your interests the subjects which you studied in your degree and of course the subject you selected even our mains your general understanding about the current affairs so these are the most important pivotal things what he is going to test you so the information what you provided to civil service examination through your cv your academic your place of birth your address your hobbies whatever you mentioned your passions your performances these are the only things what he is going to ask you in the interview and he will test your temperament of course he will test your body language he he will try to understand your communication skills how brisk how smart how good how positive in your thoughts those are the most important things so this i have given as an example for your career development your academic excellence so all this will reflect in a very aspect for these three things your mind is to be trained properly your body is to be trained properly and also you should be tuned properly since last 3 to 4 years of time you must have been with very good reading habits and writing habits following everyday things of course your general reading habits will help you to build up your expressions your vocabulary so these are the guidelines what we want to give you for your preparation for your civil services for 2023 whether it is 2023 24 25 whatever it is civil services follows set in norms the norms are very unchanging they have strict norms they follow the same they don't change very often and if any changes come maybe after another 5 years after 10 years of time not before to that so there is nothing to worry if they change also the general aspects will never change because the requirement of the human being is same so technology changes so they may give more importance to science and technology and science and technology is one of the papers what you are going to write in your civil service examination as a part of it so be thorough with general science and also science and technology part it is one of the papers what i mentioned already in your general studies 
So, for anything planning is required. A disciplined way of planning is required. A disciplined way of implementation is required. Today we do something, tomorrow we want to do something. It is not like that one. Relax, enjoy, read, grow, then you will have the easy steps for growth and easy steps to crack your civil service examinations. We wish you all the best. Any doubts, you can write in our comment box. Certainly, we will get back to you with more information so that you will be tuned and you will be benefited. And more you are benefited, happier we will be. We are at your service. We are for you. And we wish the best of luck in this new year, 2023. 24. We wish all the best. Thank you very much. Let us meet again in the next video.